horrifying moment, a school bus in Ohio packed with students flips onto its side. Yeah, man, I was on my way home from school. Then I noticed there was a half empty bottle of Tito's in the bus driver's cup holder. So that got me thinking. So I'll go to the bus driver. I'm like, bro, you good to drive? That man said, I'm straight. I finna whip this hoe. 30 seconds later, this hoe was upside down in a ditch. We was tumbling and everything. I was at the self-checkout where I usually steal from, and then I heard someone start yelling. I look up to my right, and there is this guy, like it is hard to put in words what I saw. But everybody was in disbelief. But I mean, like, we're in Ohio. What do you expect to see at Walmart? I should kick this off. Right now it's six. Who would drop off 40 kids and just say, here, walk? Family members fuming after a bus driver leaves dozens of children stranded a long way from school. So yeah, we were just on our way to school and then all of a sudden the bus driver stopped. And she was like, who got that gas money? And I was like, gas money? This is a school bus. And then she called us some broke motherfuckers and kicked us off. In St. Petersburg, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News. Exclusive video just into our newsroom minutes ago, our clearest picture yet of the landing. Pulled off by that passenger with absolutely no flight experience who grabbed the controls when the pilot had a medical emergency mid-flight over the ocean. A medical emergency, whatever you want to call it, that doesn't explain the 12 empty beer cans I saw on the cockpit floor. Anyways, we was just cruising and all of a sudden, the plane starts going straight downwards. So I go check up on the pilot and homie is passed out. So I'm thinking like, what are my options here? I mean, I gotta whip this hoe. I literally have to whip this hoe. So I grab my Xbox controller out of my backpack. I plug it up to the plane controls and I landed this thing easily. I was just peacefully sleeping in my bed and all of a sudden my ring notification goes off. And you know, it's four in the morning and I'm thinking like, who could be here? I'm ready to throw hands, whatever. I check my ring camera and it's a motherfucking military tank at my front door. And then, as I'm looking at my ring camera, this motherfucker decides to shoot me. Who even knows? All I know is it destroyed my ring camera, my house, everything I got. And then a few minutes later, I get a call from a no-caller ID. I pick up the phone, and this guy says, it's just a prank, bro. A little six-year-old boy attacked by a pit bull is home safe tonight, thanks to his neighbor who jumped into action to save his life. This is a story you'll see only on two tonight, and we do want to warn you that the video you're about to see might be sensitive to some. Yeah, I was just out getting my mail, and next thing you know, I see my neighbor getting attacked by a dog. So I run over there, I look, and it's a motherfucking pit bull. And you know, I've seen enough movies, so I knew it was my time to shine. So I run over there, I grab the dog off the girl, I grab the dog's cock, I start sucking it for a good five seconds, and that pit bull was gone. I've never seen a pit bull run so fast in this life. <laughs> 